Hi friends! Today I'm going to read to you a book um, from Dolly Parton's Imagination Library that's all about a little girl named Molly Lou Mellon who gets teased a little bit, um, but she handles it in such a glorious way. I wish so much that when I was little I could have been a bit more like Molly Lou Mellon and I think we would all be a lot happier if we were. So here we go. It's Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. It's by Patty Lovell and illustrated by David Catro. Here we go. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. So she did. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all her friends and start in a new school. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked 10 high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out, Quack! so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backward, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd make a snowflake all wrong, but Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed, even Ronald Durkin. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. <laughs> Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this story about Molly Lou Mellon as much as I did. I connected with her on so many levels. Um, I hope you did too. So thanks for reading with me. Bye.